Okay, guys, it's day 159 of grinding until I become a millionaire. It's a tiring day. Today was Saturday. I work on Saturdays typically. Now, the last few weeks, I have been releasing my Saturday shifts and have been filming or doing other things like different projects. And so anyway, this Saturday I worked. It was the first time back. I think I made like 210, 215 in like an eight hour shift. So I don't know what that comes out to, but um, plus my plus my $10 an hour, $11 an hour. So technically it'd be closer to 300 if you include that. But anyway, uh, it's worth it. Definitely worth it to go in and serve. I hate it. I am so, people just drive me absolutely crazy. I cannot wait until the day that I don't have to do that anymore. But for now, it makes me a fair amount of money and it's important. So I gotta keep my shifts, I gotta keep working on that. Now, if, if a job comes up or a meeting with a client or something like that, that I think can off, like be worth more, then I'll definitely take that. But anyway, these are just my daily check-in videos. This is 159. Um, my goal is to become a millionaire. This is, these are just my videos where I document the process and the progress and everything that I'm doing to make it happen. All of my fuck ups, all of my wins, you know, they'll be here. Um, so currently I serve part time, 20, 25 hours a week at Olive Garden. I make a little bit of money from that. I have a YouTube channel and a website that depending on the time of year also makes me a little bit of money. And then I just started doing social media for local businesses here in the Valley and I'm just starting to get stressed out about that that part a little bit because it seemed like I was able to get clients relatively quickly and now it's slowed down quite a bit and that stresses me out because I'm like, what am I doing? Like I see these ads on Facebook for, we'll create and post for your social media for $100 a month and I'm like, what the hell? Like how, bro? For $100 a month, you can, you can buy a course from me, I guess. Like I'd sell a course for 100 bucks a month. Um, I don't know, but it's got me thinking like maybe there is a way that I can offer that as an entry level thing as a lower price ticket to get people into my funnel and like, you know, start to do that. The problem with that is, is I truly believe that if I started doing like low ticket, just 10 video or 10 picture posts per month, it's not going to get any engagement. It's not going to actually help them grow. And so like, what's the point? Like giving them a cheaper shittier service that's not actually going to help them ultimately in my opinion makes my service look worse because they're going to tie that experience to the experience of the whole thing now when we get together and um I'm, i think i'm going to start adding some landing pages and shit for high level for my clients and just give them like push for leads and then try and give them leads that way i think that's a hard or easier sell if i could do that a little more setup but anyway um what I'm saying, like with my packages, they get videos that actually build a connection, videos that actually perform well because they're real, they're authentic, they're not just bullshit pictures that everyone sees all day. So I don't know. It's like I'm, part of me is trying to think of like a cheaper thing. Maybe I provide coaching and editing or coaching and posting for them. Like there might be something where I can tie it into like 250 a month as an entry level thing and then be like, hey, you know, you're not really getting that much engagement because we're not reaching new people. And the only way to reach new people is with these videos. Um, I don't know, it could be something like that, but it's got my head turning for sure because I really want to um, build that up. I wanna add a few more clients this year. That's a big goal for mine. So that's what I'm working on. I'm working on trying to figure out how I can communicate a little bit better with potential clients, how I can ultimately get them sold, get them locked in and make sure it's a right, only if it's a right fit for them. I don't wanna work with people who it's not a right fit for. I don't wanna work with people who are frustrating to me. I just wanna work with good people and build it out in a way where I enjoy it as much as they do. So yeah, so anyway, that's, pretty much what I'm working on is just building that up, getting more clients, getting more efficient with the posting, the planning, the editing, the scheduling, like just locking in those systems. And early on when I was doing it, it was pretty like just random. Like I was like, oh yeah, for sure. Like I could do that. And then I have to take some time to figure it out. Like 
there was a time where I had a bunch of reels that I needed to make for a few different clients and I was like, there's no way. And so anyway, found some editors. Now they can make some stuff for me and I can go out and find more deals, film the stuff. I don't know, there's a lot of moving pieces to it, but. Sorry. I'm so tired. I didn't go to bed until, like, if you watch yesterday's check-in video, I didn't go to bed until, like, 4.30 in the morning. Then I woke up at about 8 or 9. Joey woke me up. She wanted me to go outside. So I woke up at 8 or 9. And then I don't even know what I did. I did I did my morning walk with her. I think, oh, shit, I still need to read my book before I go to bed. Or I'm going to fail 75 hard. Can't do that. Can't fail it. We're four or five days in. Can't fail it. Um, anyway, did all that and then had to go to work and I was at work like pretty much all day, came home, took Joey out, went and got my package, finally found the package from the mailroom that has been missing for weeks, um, and went and did my second workout for the day, did chest day on a Saturday, which is kind of weird, but whatever. And yeah, so I think that was supposed to be where, what I'm working on. I don't know. I don't know why I ran through that. But, oh, oh, well, I'm tired. Yeah, so I didn't get any sleep. And I woke up, went on a long walk this morning, took Joey out, walked all around work, and now I am uh, did my second workout, and I'm just exhausted. So after this, I'm going to wrap it up and go to bed. But I do want to just, I know there's a few topics that I can get going on, and I'm trying to keep this super concise, but... Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed today. You know, yesterday I think was overall good and the day before I was pretty stressed. Now today it's just a little overwhelmed because I look at my to-do list and I'm like, shit, that's a big to-do list. And there's like, there's things that I guess aren't even on there. Like I need to edit a video. I need to make a few shorts. I need to get those things scheduled out. I need to set up a new repurpose for reposting all of my client stuff. I just want to have them on one system but it's like 25 a month for, what is it, five connections and then 100 maybe a month if I go with the uh, enterprise suite, but that only gives you 20 different connections. So maybe that would get me up to 20 clients. Maybe that would be fine. But anyway, I, I like I need to do that. I need to do just a bunch of things and make sure that I'm, I'm following up on stuff. And when I feel a little bit stressed and frustrated, I'm not very good at the follow through. I'm not very good at like getting those things done. And ultimately it doesn't feel like I have any time. Like tomorrow morning, I'm gonna wake up. I need to finish fixing my car. I need to change the oil filter. I need to get it running, figure out what is smoking, make sure the coolant's not leaking. And then maybe I'll have my car and like just be done with that section there. But then it's like, okay, and then I go to work and then I come home. Then Monday, I've got to film a thing Monday morning. I need to get back to the guy before Monday morning. Like there's just so many moving pieces. And I'm like, dude, I need a VA and I need an assistant and I need to make enough money so that I can hire an assistant. But it, it's a stressful thing. But overall, like I'm feeling just a little bit overwhelmed because I know that I cannot personally do everything that I need to do. And I also know that I'm not making enough money to completely delegate those things. And I think that's a trap that a lot of people find themselves in. But anyway, big goals, then I'm, I'm going to bed because I feel like this video is shitty to watch if I just keep fucking yawning. Um, anyway, goals. $10,000 a month from YouTube website and the social media stuff. I want to steer it in a way that's relatively passive. I want a Tesla is the newest thing I've just been babbling about. I was like, uh, my Uber had a Model Y and I was like, oh, this is really nice. Like maybe I, I want a Tesla and my car is kind of a piece of shit. So maybe that's the next thing. Um, goal, other goal, live in Bali for a while. I want to move there. I just want to be a digital nomad and live in Bali for a while. So those are my big goals. I'm gonna get there by scaling this social media marketing thing. It's gonna work as soon as I figure out exactly where my strong partnerships are and the kind of pitches and the kind of demos people wanna see. I'm always, my head is always turning about like why something works or why, you know, like I almost want to check with someone I consulted with who hired one of the $99 a month agencies
and be like, what did they do to get you? Like, how did they get you hooked? And, and like learn more because maybe that's what I can do and then move them into those other upsells. I don't know, but I'm always trying to learn why things happen instead of just like accepting them, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, so this is day 159. We'll see you guys tomorrow for day 150, 160. Day 160 tomorrow. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. We'll see you later.